Here's how you make the graph for a picture graph. And that's where you have pictures representing data on your graph. So this applies to this picture graph with the apples and this one with the cupcakes and this one with the popcorn. So you're going to move the picture to represent things. So for example, here we have the names on the bottom, student name, and then how many apples they picked. And there's no numbers on here because you're going to use the apple to show how many they picked. So if they pick 10 apples, you're going to grab 10 of these and put them in a line. So let's take a look at it. Ainsley picked seven apples. So what you're going to do is grab seven and put them here in a line to show how many Ainsley picked. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, five, six, and seven. All right, and I'll make these a little bit smaller for you so that they'll actually fit. All right, so let me go ahead and fix that. Make them a little smaller so that you can demonstrate how many Ainsley picked. But you would grab seven and you would put them in a line. Four, five, six, seven. And then keep going. So Destiny picked two less than Ainsley. Well, seven minus two is five. So I would come over here to Destiny and I would put five apples here. Brayden picked four, so I'd put four here. All right, and then let's look at some of the other ones because here an apple is one apple, but here a cupcake or this symbol is four cupcakes. So if fourth grade sold 16 cupcakes, I am not going to put 16 of these. I'm going to put enough that I can skip count from four up to 16. So this is four cupcakes right here, four, eight, 12, 16. So these each equal four, and then that means this equals two. So if a grade sold two, or you need 18 cupcakes, for example, this would be 16 and two more could get you to 18 um, for those other numbers that you need to achieve. There is a grade here where I did not tell you how many they sold. So you need to take the total that were sold and subtract the information you have to figure out how much that mystery class sold. And then here it's popcorn, but they sold popcorn to make money. So this actually represents a hundred dollars. So hundred dollars here, 200, $300. This equals $50. So you're going to use these clues to make the graph here. And that's how you drag and drop to create a pictograph.